Hello and welcome to my series about how to build a chatbot app for Android. We're going to be using um, Appy Builder or Thunkable or App Inventor, one of those uh, services to uh, build our chatbot. And our every video I'll be taking a different topic at a time and stepping you through the process. Uh, for those who want to fast forward a bit and just get hold of the actual file to what you're seeing here, uh, there's a link in the description to my Patreon where you can download the full file and uh, you can hit the ground running straight away. So this is my chatbot. Um, you can see I've got a bit of basic animation on the screen to make it a bit interesting. I've also got ads along the top as well and I'll feature... Um, uh, this in one of the up and coming videos on how to add, easily add, I might ask, how you can easily add um, ads and banners to any app that you make. So this is our chatbot. It's a very, very simple chatbot with three buttons um, along the middle there. Uh, the first allows us to speak to it, to interact with it um, by just chatting to it like so. Hello. Hello there. It's nice to talk. And what it does, it tries to pick up on a few key words and work out a suitable response to give you, like so. How are you feeling today? I feel a little creative. Brilliant. There you go. And from then on, once you've got the basic mechanics of it working, you can then start to bring in additional functionality, such as... OK, chatbot, tell me a joke. I had an argument with one of the seven dwarfs. He wasn't happy. Oh. Very good. Yep. Okay, uh, tell me a story. Why don't you trust me? He wrote before sending it to both of them. Ooh, interesting. Ah, okay, and then you can start to play around a little bit, make it, make it go online and uh, tap into various... Uh, services. Uh, I mean, I can get it to stream radio. Let's have a look. Okay, chatbot, uh, turn the radio on, please. Playing a random radio station. Okay, interesting. Let's uh, let's change it. Nah, change radio station, please. Can you turn the radio off, please? The radio is turned okay, off. Okay, so the more you, the more ideas you come up with and incorporate, the more interesting um, it can be. I can also get it to tap into ham radio that's streamed online. Let's see. Check for frequencies. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, every every video I'll be taking a little topic and showing you how to um, incorporate it into the app. Um, but for those who want to fast forward a bit and just grab the file, then there's a link in the description. Ah, before I go, the nice thing about this chatbot is that it's always learning. So if it uh, gets presented with an input that it doesn't like, such as, it smells of gravy. I don't know what to say to that. What would you say to, it smells of gravy? There you go. So it doesn't have a suitable response. So what it does, it goes through its internal logic, try to work out a suitable response, and then it goes into the cloud and searches the online Firebase database. And if all else fails, then it will bring back a, a message such as this to say, can you provide me with an answer? So what we're going to say to, it smells like gravy, um, let's just say... Yes, it does. Okay, random enough. Okay, yes, it does. And when we hit go, let's talk some more. It saves it into, into the Firebase database. So next time someone says it smells like gravy, it has a it has a response to give. Now imagine if 
there were multiple installations of this application all running, uh, all feeding into that central database. This chatbot would learn incredibly quickly. And this is why I sort of want to release it into the world. One of the reasons why I want to release it into the real world. So it learns as it goes along and evolves. And hopefully it will gain a bit of a personality. So yeah, um, subscribe to the video, uh, to, to my channel and hopefully uh, um, I can uh, I can show you how easy it is to build uh, a, a chatbot for Android, such as such as this one here. All right, thanks for watching, and hopefully, uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye.